If you want someone to be obsessed with you, you have to be obsessed with you. How do you break down the walls that you've built up around your heart because we manifest from our heart and never forget that all rejection is a catalyst to making you whole. In this series, I'm making a series because I need about three to five videos to break down all the steps. I'm going to be showing you guys how to manifest your S and get them to obsess over you, call you, want you. So in this episode, I'm gonna share with you the first two steps that you need to start doing to get your SP to completely obsess over you. By the time we get to the third episode, it's gonna get a little sexy, so I hope you guys are ready. But in the beginning, right now, we need to start working on the inner work. We need to create the inner environment that's going to make your SP obsessed with you. So let's go ahead and jump into step number one. All right, you guys, so step one is removing the walls that we are creating around our heart because we manifest from our heart center. Let me explain. Anytime we go through a breakup or we get in a fight with someone, we fear that they're never going to want to be with us again. We fear that they're going to be with someone else. We worry that they're not coming back. And all of these emotions actually build walls around our heart because we go into protection mode. It's actually very natural for our shoulders to curve in when we're depressed, when we're sad, because we're protecting our heart chakra. But the problem is, is when you're in protection mode, when the walls are up, you can't manifest. So the first thing we need to start doing is anytime you think a thought that is fearful or worrisome about your SP, you need to immediately say, block, remove, delete that thought. Whatever resonates for you, say that immediately. You have to send that data to your mind, remove that thought, and say it until you release it. Release that thought, delete that thought, block that thought. Whichever can give you a visual. Like if you're on Instagram and you block someone, you never wanna talk to them again. You never want them to be able to contact you again. You're removing all access from you. So you need to actually picture that in your mind. Like when the thought comes up, Whatever word resonates for you, meaning remove that thought from having access to my heart, you need to start saying that. Okay, so immediately say that. The next thing I want you to do, whatever that thought is, use the exact fear or worry and use the scale of polarity to reframe it. The scale of polarity says that there's a sliding scale between two extremes, meaning happy, sad, jealous, confident. When you're using the scale of polarity, if you can try to use the same language, like if you're afraid there was someone else, say, I'm confident they're only with me. Like try to reframe it as close to the fear as possible immediately after you cancel the thought from your mind. So if you are afraid there was someone else, you're afraid they're gonna fall in love with someone else, they only love me, they only wanna be with me. And when you're doing this, stay clear and concise, don't babble. Your subconscious mind is much more receptive to clear, concise language. They only wanna be with me. They love only me. They're only in love with me. They love me so much, they never wanna be without me. Choose your own language, and that is step one. Step two, this is where I need you to take out a pen and paper, but I'm also gonna put the bullet points down in the description box below so you can just copy and paste it. So if everyone is us pushed out, anyone that's watching this video and that follows manifestation or any type of spiritual work, you've understood by now, or at least you've probably heard it, seen it somewhere, the belief that everyone is us pushed out. So what does that mean? That means if you want someone to be obsessed with you, then you have to be obsessed with you. If all your focus goes to being obsessed with them, you're taking yourself off your pedestal. You're making yourself insecure, broken. You become the chaser. And what's attractive about that? Who's attracted to that? Exactly, so if you want them to become obsessed with you, you have to become fully obsessed with yourself. And it's so funny, because I, <laughs> the first time I did this, it was so creepy. It just feels weird to sit down and write great things about yourself. You know what I mean? And then especially to read it, and then to look in the mirror and read it, you're just like, oh, who dat? Who dat? <laughs> oh. You know, you wanna, you wanna like put on sunglasses, but this is what intimacy is. You know, when they say into me, I see. It's because a lot of us are uncomfortable with intimacy with ourselves. We're uncomfortable saying that, yeah, I'm a catch. Before we get started, I just wanna tell you that beauty is an inside job. So on this list, we will be building beauty from the inside out. 
if you are blessed with physical attributes, that will be the last on the list. That matters the least in this situation, okay? So I want you guys to follow this guideline exactly how I say when you're writing this list about yourself. And trust me, it's going to turn into a Santa list. And when you look at this and when you start reading it, when you look in the mirror and read it, you're really going to start, not the first few times, like I said, the first few times is going to be super creepy. <laughs> it's going to be super creepy. But once you get over that, you're really going to start like feeling it. And it's really, it's a really good feeling, you guys. You know what I mean? You start getting this energy and you're just like, wow. And as you speak the words, you really start to feel them resonate. You know what I mean? And the words become very intentional every time you repeat the list. So babble, babble, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing on the list you are going to write is character traits. So this is based on if you're loyal, if you have a strong moral compass, if you follow through and you're consistent, if you're always a person of their word, stuff like that. So write down anything that you think you bring to the table when it comes to being a good partner. Start there, write that out and say, I am whatever it is. I am whatever it is. The second thing on the list is any type of talents. Like if you know how to cook, if you are good at certain sports, like anything that would make you a good partner and a fun friend. Because the one thing I will tell you guys is men always remember how you make them feel. Don't forget that. Men always remember how you make them feel, meaning how do they feel when they leave you? How do they feel when they're with you? Because this is what their life is going to look like and vice versa. You know what I mean? If you're going to tie yourself to someone, you want to make sure that you're going to have a fun life. So any type of talents that you have, write those down next. The next one on the list might seem stupid, but any type of personal hygiene. I can't tell you how many people have bad personal hygiene. And when people have great personal hygiene, like they're always shaved, their hair is always done or vice versa for girls, their nails are always done. Their skin is soft. Like take care of yourself because this reflects on how you feel about yourself and how you feel about yourself is how you're going to treat others, how you're going to nurture the relationship. It says a lot about someone. So don't be afraid to list any type of personal hygiene that you bring to the table. <laughs> and then next on the list is any type of wellness and lifestyle benefits that you bring to the table. Like what do you do for your mental health? Are you someone that journals every day? Do you have a yoga practice? Do you meditate? Do you go to the gym? Are you a runner? Do you know how to ground your energy? Like all of this matters. And this is 1000% something that you should obsess over because not enough people do it. Like meaning when you write this on the list, this is something that you bring to the table. Like, yeah, I'm bringing mental wellness to the table, baby. <laughs> Unlike most of the other crazy people. Don't think that these little tiny things don't matter when you are writing this list because it does. You're gonna start realizing how fucking amazing you are. You know what I mean? And you will indirectly get obsessed with yourself because you're like, wow, like, wow. You know what I mean? You really want to feel that way about yourself. So don't be afraid to write the little things because life is all about the little things. And now last on the list, like I said, is any type of physical attributes. Don't underestimate the small things, you guys. If you look in the mirror and you don't think you're this perfect 10, I promise you, there are beautiful parts of you, whether you have amazing hair, beautiful eyes, soft skin, great legs, nice ass, pretty feet, put it down on the list. And then once you write this, take a break and then come back and sit with the same list again and see if you could build it out anymore. And then once you have this list, I want you to take it to the mirror and look at yourself and read it. And the first time you do it, it's literally gonna be like, Oh, who that? <laughs> I swear, you guys, it'll actually become very empowering. So let me trust the process. Trust the process. I promise you. Because <laughs> I've done it. But it won't stay creepy. Mine was only creepy like the first two times. And then I really started getting into it. And I was like, whoa. And now when I read it, it just makes me like vibrate. It makes me light up. And it makes me feel really good from an intrinsic place. And that's the emotion that you're trying to evoke intrinsic value and that means it's something that's being birthed from within you that's the energy that you want to evoke okay so this is step one it's the inner work next few episodes will be more of the fun stuff but this is the base this is the foundation the inner work your inner reality your inner belief if you want someone to be obsessed with you you have to be obsessed with you you have to become someone that people want to obsess over and never forget that all rejection is a catalyst to making you whole. All rejection is a catalyst to making you whole. Always keep that in your mind. 
all rejection is a catalyst to making you become whole. All right, you guys, so this is the first thing I want you to do. This is a really quick video, but start with this, and then I'll see you guys on Friday, because I'm gonna post these back to back so that you have the whole series pretty quick. All right, you guys, I am Angela. I'm back every Wednesday, but like I said, for this series, I'm gonna be posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I'll see you guys in a few days.